Most of us, buttons are just for holding our clothes together, right? But Marianne McNeil sees jewelry, especially when she sees an old button. She turns vintage buttons into designs by M. And Marianne is here to preview the Crafts and More show this weekend. It's, it's great to have you here It's today. great to be here with you, Paula. Thank yes, you. Yes, from Galesburg, where yeah. it snowed a little also this morning, yes. right? Yeah. Yes. And now it's Not all gone. Yes. Are, are you ready to, uh, to sell, sell, sell your buttons? Yes. Your button jewelry? Yes. There's a Ta great crowd that comes on Saturday. It's, there is a... Yeah, they're really a Saturday and Sunday. Tell me how you came up with the idea. You, you saw buttons and you thought those would look great in jewelry. I did after I wanted a necklace uh, that I saw on a friend of mine, and I had a, I went to Canton, Illinois, and uh, blessings in Canton. They didn't have it and didn't know where they could get anymore. So an hour drive on the way home, I decided I guess I'm going to have to make it myself. Is that like one the, button or are those those rocks aren't buttons? No, they aren't. They're okay. jasper, and then the. Uh, the button in the center, and they match the earrings. Uh huh. Some well, people like them to match, and others people's other people don't. Well, I'm going to so show this bracelet. The customer wants. You're telling me in the break mm -hmm. that these are typewriter keys mm -hmm. from a 1968 typewriter. Mm -hmm. So they're not buttons, but they're objects. Right. Recycle. Re recycled. Re recycled. Recycled. Upcycled. Mm -hmm. And then the gold bracelet I'm wearing here, you said all of these are vintage old buttons. They are. And I find the ladies asking for new and different things all the time, and gold has been. Gold uh, is back. Mm -hmm. Gold coming is coming back. back. And coming you, have, back you have a lot somewhere. of silver, though, too, I see. I do. It's still, it's still probably the most popular, but the mix is good. Mm -hmm. Oh, the I think so, too. I wanted to show, um, like you said, this one. See, this doesn't look like a button, but you said it, it they is. They called it a glass button. There were mm -hmm. not holes for the thread, but it was called a glass button. It was in Washington State, and I thought they would go good with the buttons that I have, and it would go great on a pendant. So Look they, at the color in that. They became Isn't pendants. Great? And mm -hmm. so this truly is button jewelry. You have, you have uh, pendants, bracelets, yes. um, earrings. I mean, some of them really look like buttons, like this one does, because it's got the little concave where you'd yeah. sew. Really and different. I like the granddaughter... Um, little collection that you've done. I do. I have the Avery's collection now, and the ladies were asking for jewelry for their little princesses. Uh -huh. I've made the, you know, the gold and the silver bracelets for little ones, but they said, no, we need bright colors. So the colors are we great. came up with a uh hun, -huh, and the little ones love the gel uh -huh. necklaces like that, and they're all buttons, different they're all buttons with flowers or polka dots, or they love it. Well, so when you, when you put a price on this, the, the thing that you're, you're really selling is some history, too, right? Right. right. Where have these buttons been? You know, where... Where have they been, right? What coat were they worn on? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I yeah. want to show that necklace down there that has the uh, the rocks on it. Yeah, we'll the rocks. get, we'll get oh, a, a yeah. close shot on yeah. that. Uh, how did you decide to do those mixtures like that? Well, it was uh, happenstance, really. I ordered some of the different uh, stones that I ordered, and this is what came in. And yeah. I thought, that's not what I thought I was getting. Now what, I'm gonna, what am I going to do with them? So I was looking through some catalogs, and I thought, well, I could do, those are the rocks I've got at home. So yeah. you mix it with some, some chain and have nice. buttons on each side of that. Mm -hmm. That circle there. So you just mix it together. You're just trying to finding something new out of out of mm -hmm. a mistake or, or right. Oh, you can, you artists can turn mistakes <laughs> right into right things, right? Lemons into lemonade. Crafts and more. <laughs> and this is a show that features Mary Ann and so many other vendors, and it really is a good one. And so yes. you'll you'll find this this uh, great vintage button jewelry Saturday and Sunday at the Milan Community Center, and it's to benefit uh, Milan Improvement Project yes. MIP. Yes. Right. Yes. So we always right. like to to help them out too. Yes. So Mary Ann, thank you. These are these are really beautiful. Nice job. Okay. Thank you so much for having thank me you. again, thank Paula. Thank you, my dear. Thank, Thank you. you. When we come back.